If you dream of studying aerospace engineering, uh, if you dream of being part of Airbus uh, employee, you probably would think about uh, our second feature school tonight. It's a uh, Isteh Shubeho. It's a uh, aerospace engineering higher education institute based in Toulouse in France, and we are glad to have Justin here to introduce her. Uh, the school program and how to apply for that and what will be those resources and um, probably some career opportunity in the future for our audience. Hi everyone. So yes, I'm Justine. I am admission advisor here at Isa Supero in Toulouse. Isa Supero is an aerospace institute where we teach a different program post bachelor. So what we're going to see today, <clears throat> it's um, first of all, I'm going to introduce you to the school. What's Isa Supero? And it stands for um, <clears throat> what we teach at Isaiah Supero, so different programs. But today we're going to focus on the Master of Science in Aerospace Engineering and how to apply, like um, Jade say, uh, the scholarships, opportunities, and a few pictures of, of campus. So Isaiah Supero uh, was founded more than 100 years ago. It was one of the first aerospace engineering school in Europe. <clears throat> Uh, the mission nowadays is to train the next leaders uh, in aerospace engineering of tomorrow. So uh, big challenges in this field, in this uh, domain for the, the future, uh, mostly to, uh, with all the environment uh, issues at the moment. We are located in Toulouse. Toulouse is the aerospace uh, capital of uh, Europe. So we are surrounded by all those um, companies in uh, the aerospace sector. Uh, you will see a bit later. And uh, we have different programs uh, in English and French, but I'm mostly going to talk about the English programs and the Master of Science. Okay, so the main programs we have that uh, foreign students may be interested in is so the Master of Science, it's in two years, fully taught in English, and we have different scholarships uh, for this program. Um, the admission is post bachelor, right? It's a master. Then at the Espero, we also offer uh, diff different uh, advanced master programs. There are 15 in total. It's one year program that a student can do after a master to specialize in a specific field of the aerospace domain. Um, or also for professionals who want to um, specify in, uh, I don't know, uh, space sector or in some management project, etc. So it's open to uh, students, master students and professionals in English also. We also have the spring semester. Spring semester is for students who wants to do an exchange for one semester and come study here at Isaiah Supero, the aerospace uh, engineering studies. It's uh, in English as well. And it's mostly for students in their second or third year of bachelor. And then the formation ingénieur, like uh, in French, it's, um, it's different. So it's uh, admission is uh, with a national exam, or also if your university is partner with Isa Sparrow, you can do some exchange. So Isa Sparrow is located in Toulouse. Here you have a little map. So you can see we're in the south of France. And here you see uh, how is made Toulouse with all surrounded by those companies, um, mostly Airbus, which is one of the main company here in, um, in Toulouse. But there are also um, all the suppliers of uh, Airbus and also the, the space sector. So there is Thales, uh, you can see Liber, Safran, Latecoair, also um, Onera, different um, research laboratories. Um, are located all around Toulouse, which gives good of opportunities for all our students. Um, Isa Square also have um, many partners among this um, industrial network. Um, here you have 17 of them. Those, um, those partners help us to, first of all, some of them provide scholarships for the students, but they also provide us with all their, their needs, um, mostly human needs for um, uh, if they need interns, if they need um, employees. 
And they also, um, we, we do a lot of exchange with them to know what exactly, what exact, what skills exactly they need so that we can adapt our program according to the industrial needs. Here you see a few famous alumni from that passed by their Sparrow in their studies. Men and women, it's important, not only men study aerospace engineering. So you have, for example, Marcel Dassault, the founder of Dassault Aviation. You have um, uh, Guillaume Fauré, CEO of Airbus, also famous astronauts like Thomas Pesquet or Samantha Cristoforetti, different um, students who passed by the Sparrow from different countries and who are nowadays uh, quite famous in the aerospace industry. All right, so um, this is just a short overview of Ida Sparrow. If you have any question, I see uh, you can uh, ask question in the discussion box. Don't hesitate, I'd be happy to answer you after. And now I'm gonna enter more in detail in the, the Master of Science, um, because nowadays we are right now in the application period. If you want to study next September, 2022 at Ida Sparrow, um, you may want to know more. So the Master of Science is in two years, four semesters, uh, three semesters of courses at Ida Supero, the school behind me, and one semester in um, a company or a laboratory to do uh, an internship called the Master Thesis. Um, when students enter in the first semester, they don't choose anything. It's a common core for all of them in um, uh, aerospace uh, engineering uh, main topics in project management or foreign languages. Um, it's because we welcome students from different backgrounds. Background in, can be a bachelor in aerospace engineering, but also mechanical, electro, um, electrical engineering, also why not bachelor in physics or mathematics are also welcomed. So um, we give them the courses so that students can adapt to, to the level. And then they also, during the first semester, choose um, four electives for the second semester, and they choose the major for the, the third semester. I'm going to explain you how it works. And also they do a research project to, during the second and third semester, mostly link with the major. So there are seven majors you see here. I'm not going to read all those electives, but you can maybe have this presentation later or ask me questions. But um, there is advanced aerodynamics and propulsion or aerospace structures, aerospace systems and control, embedded systems, space systems, systems engineering or space imaging, navigation and communication. Those are majors that students choose during the third semester. So as I told you, it's fully taught in English, which is why we require an English test certification for the application. But we also teach French during the master program. It's part of the curriculum. We think like when you live in France, it's important for you guys to, to speak uh, basics of French, to go grocery shopping or uh, interact with others, you know. And in the aerospace sector, it's very international. Here at, uh, in Toulouse, you have people from all over the world working here in the aerospace industry. And we think it's good to at least speak uh, one or two European languages as possible. I know uh, maybe from Taiwan, it's difficult to learn a second European languages, but it's worth it, mostly if you study in France. There is also Career Center, <clears throat> an impo important point for all students who want to uh, look for their internship, look for their first job. The Career Center is here to accompany them, to help them in all the, the process, make their CV, uh, prepare an interview, and they also share with them all the, the list of jobs available um, on the market. And uh, at the moment, Isa Supero is also engaging uh, strongly in the ecological transition, mostly since um, last year events with uh, the, the pandemic, we really insist on uh, finding a way to decarbonize the aviation sector and, and make uh, uh, this planet greener, right? So this is, this is gonna be the challenges of uh, our next engineers and we, we adapt uh, all the program accordingly. This is to show you how is composed a, a class of master. Uh, so this year we welcomed 122 students uh, in the master one. They were coming from 26 different countries and 67 different universities, so a big melting pot. 
which is good. Uh, the industry needs students, uh, workers from the, the, the whole world. And um, it's important we, we welcome a lot of different nationalities in the master. So you see students were coming uh, mostly from Europe, a lot of from Spain, Italy, Portugal, and Eastern Europe, France a bit as well. And a uh, few in Asia, uh, the strongest country from the Asian student is India. Uh, maybe next will be Taiwanese, hopefully. And also students from North and South America, Africa a little bit, and Oceania. So, And 22 female students, which is important. We all, always want to grow that number and welcome more women in the aerospace engineering uh, domain. How are students, uh, what does our student doing after the graduation? Um, so first of all, 96% is already, already found a job when they graduate. Uh, that was the results of 2019. With the crisis, of course, they were a little down in the aerospace sector, but it's already going back to normal like uh, this year. 50% uh, of our students graduating this December, the 3rd of December, they will be graduating. 50% uh, already found their job, so it's very encouraging for uh, the aerospace sector, which is bo booming again at the moment. Uh, a lot of um, jobs are available on the market. Uh, you see that main recruiters are um, the one low, like Altran, Airbus, of course, ATR, also Thales, Soprasteria, Asia, also uh, the National Center of uh, Special Research. That's it. And also 70% started the career in France. Uh, so this is a possibility you will have by meeting so many professionals uh, on site when you study here. Uh, but students really do find their job in different parts of the world, in different domain. Aeronautic in space is getting stronger in space, also research and development, automotive and transport energy, etc. So now, how about admission process? So as I told you, it's, uh, it started uh, from the 1st of October. We have a different phase uh, during the year. So usually students can apply from October to April, May. But the first uh, session is from um, uh, October to the 1st of December. And this is for the first admission committee, which will happen um, in January. And usually this is when uh, either SPARE recruit most of its students in the master because um, it's, um, this is when um, there is uh, all the spots are vacant in the master program. And this is when we received most of the applications as well. Um, probably because um, students are interested in, in scholarship and this is the only deadline when you can apply for scholarships with Isaiah Supera. Then you will see there's other scholarships with Campus France that I strongly suggest you to, to look for as well. And so we already talked about the prerequisites, application process, and attrition fees. So um, a year at Isaiah Supera is 13,000 euros for non-European students. And the scholarships help you to, um, to cover this tuition fee. So um, there's different scholarships, um, five. They cover tuition fees uh, plus a part of the living expenses. It can go from 5,000 to 8,000 euro per year. So for um, all these uh, details, you can scan the QR code. Or, uh, or ask me, um, there is a different uh, information about all the scholarships and deadline once again, 1st of December to apply. So there is Foundation Isaiah Sparrow who, who gives a uh, tuition fees as part of the living expenses. There's also the Toulouse Graduate School of Aerospace Engineering. Here it's a scholarship for students who wish to pursue with a PhD. Um, Isaiah Sparrow, the school itself this year also provide a scholarship for um, any nationalities, uh, tuition fees per part of the living expenses. And Airbus also provides a scholarship for, uh, it's a chair for eco design of aircraft. It's uh, for students wishing to pursue with a major, major in aeronautics. MBDA is another scholarship, but it's for Indians and Indonesians. Okay, so I hope you follow me so far. Um, this is to show you a bit of, um, of the campus, how, oh, what are the facilities on campus that students can enjoy. Research equipment, um, we insist that we need the best equipment so that 
students can work on their research uh, ef efficiently. And also, the, um, we have a lot of PhDs here and, uh, and laboratories who are using those equipments. Uh, it's very important to, to improve uh, on the research part. So there is an echoic room. There are six ASL simulators. There's a drone room uh, where students also shape and make their own drone. drone. There is a turbo reactor test bench. Then there is one of the biggest aerotic, aeroacoustic wind tunnel in Europe uh, at Isaiah Sparrow. We also have a fleet of light planes um, where students can do their first flight. Uh, they can also learn uh, pilot lessons, but it's mostly in French language. So, um, Maybe not for everyone, but there is also a white room specialized in the conception of CubeSats. So many different uh, tools that students are likely to to use uh, for their research application. This is a few pictures of campus. So it's um, it's located in the south of Toulouse, um, close enough to the city, like fifteen minutes transport uh, or by bike. Um, but it's very green. It's along the Canal du Midi, so we have a lot of space for students to to do all the activities. There is a gymnasium, a swimming pool, tennis courts, a football courts, etc. Also, a student house where students can do all the activities. For you know, it's a it's a campus, a international campus. We also have, I will uh, talk about it later, um, student housing on campus, which is useful for international students when they come uh, study at either Sparrow different activities to do on and out of side of campus with all those different clubs and associations organized uh, by students. So if you're interested, uh, you can check here, but there is really different fields of uh, clubs that students can uh, enjoy. To they, they study aerospace engineering, but they also need to, to do different things, right? Like art, sports, um, organization, theater, I don't know. This is what I was talking about. We, we are lucky in Toulouse. We, we uh, have the service from the University of Toulouse called Toolbox. It's a service to welcome um, all our international students um, to help them with all the administrative process procedures at the beginning of their stay in France. Like we know it's um, not everyone speak French. It can be a bit tricky to know all the, all the administrative tasks you need to do at the, at the beginning. So the, the, the service helps you to book in advance your accommodation, to open a bank account, to um, get your transport card, uh, maybe SIM card if you need, uh, different services that are uh, useful for international students when they arrive. A few pictures of Toulouse. I don't know if you, if you heard about it or if you've been there. It's a very nice and charming city. Uh, now we're 15 by plane from Paris. Um, very close to the mountain as well, if you like hiking or skiing in the in winter, and um, close to the seaside, uh, an hour 30 by car from the Mediterranean Sea or two hours 30 from the Atlantic Ocean, so good location, and yeah, it was uh, voted the first student city in France, so there's a lot to do, it's a very dynamic city for having a good student life. I get to the end of the presentation, so here you have... Um, all the information you may need to contact us or to find more information. Don't hesitate, really. Here you have uh, the email info masters at either super.fr. Um, I will be the main one answering your email, so really uh, feel free. And you can also follow us on social media. And thank you, Shishi and Tatia, for following us today. And I really, I remain available for all your questions if you have any. Interesting for the introduction. You're um, welcome. Let's welcome the questions from our audience. Uh, I think there are, uh, like, in France, there are, uh, say, MSc, there are advanced program, uh, advanced master. Could mm -hmm. you probably explain a bit about the differences between the two programs? For example, will be the, the course's content or it will be the required qualification from applicants. Okay. Okay. So you mean when we are at the beginning? Yeah. At the very beginning. Yeah. yeah, that's something like uh, a it's... lot of uh, Taiwanese students are not familiar with. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah, the Master of Science is after a bachelor 
or a license. Um, it gets a grade of a master grade, um, like a master of science, and then student can start working right away or do a PhD, uh, continue with a PhD after the master. Or they can also um, do an advanced master. But usually a student from the master of science, they don't do the, this advanced master because this is the same uh, field of study mainly. But uh, some students with a master from a mechanical engineering master or a master in, uh, in different fields may want to specialize in aerospace engineering and do an advanced master. So this is just one year course um a six months course and six months internship so this is a one-year program uh, which cost between eight thousand and sixteen thousand euro but um it's like six uh, during the six months internship like they start already uh, earning money and this is really a specialization recognized by the uh, industrial uh, professional world so let's say advanced master, it's more like for professionals who wants to specialize or for master grade student who wants to specialize even more. If you put it in a easier way, uh, if you are a bachelor holder, uh, yeah. you want to pursue the master, you will suggest that to start with MSc. Of course, yes. You cannot you... start with advanced master. It's after the master degree, right. you know, bachelor, okay. master of science, and then advanced master yeah and it's for higher those, education uh for those who already have probably read like um working experience in um uh, uh, relevant industry you would yeah. suggest them probably to consider advanced master exactly Ad advanced master you you can check uh, online there are different uh, topics mm -hmm. it can be aer aeronautics uh, or space and uh, project management a different specialization in the aerospace uh, sector. Um, I don't have all the titles of the master's right. advanced master here, but any question about this domain, uh, please ask me. After the graduation, well, how possible for an international international student to find a job like in uh, aerospace or uh, aeronautics uh, industry? Okay, so first of all, the, the Master of Science is highly recognized on uh, in the aerospace sector, but globally, like Isar Spero may not be very well known in Taiwan, but in Europe, it's it's a school which is very well known by all the industrial. It's one of the best engineering school uh, in Europe for, for this um, project. We, we are not ranked because we are small. We, like Isar Spero is a thousand eight hundred students. Mm -hmm. And it's it's part of the university, but it's uh, a part a, a, a bubble in the, in the University of Toulouse because it's uh, supervised by the ministry, French Ministry of Defense. So it's a part, you know. Uh, so in the aerospace industry here in Toulouse, it's um, very international. So with a master of science in English, like students. Uh, this speak fluent English, they can uh, access to any jobs in the industry. Um, Airbus is, is um, composed of um, many different nationalities. Uh, so really, uh, it's all students have the same chances, whether they are from Taiwan, from South Africa, uh, from uh, Mexico. It uh, really depends on their um, I guess um, the major they choose, um, the open-mindedness of the world and their, their willingness to also the, yeah, the, the, the career choice they will take. But really um, there is a lot of positions available and there's no student who don't get their first internship or first job. Mm -hmm. Or let's put it another way. Uh, what would you suggest to international students uh, if they would like to stay in France or in mm -hmm. Europe for uh, a job or uh, any career opportunity um, in aerospace engineering or aerospace industry, like would be but, language, professional skills, knowledge, or internship experiences, for instance. Of, of course, experience, like the internship gives them the experience on the, on the field. So usually most of them get their first job with their internship. But not only, sometimes it's one experience and they decide maybe I want to try another field. So um, 
the career center once again can help them uh, find their job. But really, um, I think the most important is if, when you speak English, you're a citizen of the world, no wonder where you're from. So if you have a, a degree in aerospace, um, you, you know, you, you apply to different company. Also, students uh, receive courses from uh, different um, with uh, uh, professionals coming to, to teach them in class. So during the two years of master, um, they um, they meet so many people, so many professionals from this company. Uh, it's their choice to to keep those contact and and keep their LinkedIn or exchange with them. Like, what is your job about? Uh, I would be interesting in this field later when I graduate. And you know, create some connections with all those people they're going to meet during those two years. Mm -hmm. And um, and then there's so many opportunities that I, I'm sure it's workable if they want. To. <laughs> right. Uh, you mentioned the uh, the career center uh, in a in a school. Uh, yeah. So the career center where is somewhere uh, a student can probably seek support for absolutely. Finding, yeah, finding internship, finding a job after graduation. Am I right? Yes. Yes. Totally. It's they they do different also. Um, organization uh, event organization like they they, they organize a uh, company visits right. um uh, job datings mm -hmm. um you know career they fair. exactly career fair um and they also they are available if students need help like uh, i'm not sure about my cv uh how to do an interview um with uh, someone from france is it the same way as i would do it in my country you know okay. um yeah, it's, it's very useful actually for international students because uh, maybe someone from France would be more used to how it works here. Right. But yeah, international student needs uh, a career center. <laughs> yeah, like I think all the students need it. <laughs> like, yeah, for sure, for sure, for yeah. sure. But you know, so uh, yeah. Anything about job or career, uh, either it's for preparation or you're not sure whether you're qualified or not definitely can seek support from the uh, officer uh, and yeah. the career center. Absolutely. <laughs> um, all right. So for MSc, I think, it's M yeah, MSc Aerospace Engineering, is there yeah. any like, uh, prerequisite for graduation? For example, like as an international student, they have to finish at least uh, four to six months of uh, internship they have yes. uh, complete certain projects or et cetera, et cetera. So there is uh, 60 credits per uh, year. So 30 credits per semester. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, you students, there is exams like after each course. So it's not like uh, in some university you have exams uh, uh, all, in, all in one row during one month at the end of the semester. It's some uh, exams continuously during the year to finish a course, etc. And so, so students to graduate need to complete these, um, so 120 credits at the end of the two years. And um, uh, the internship is uh, also value a few, like I think it's uh, 15 credits. Uh, so um, at the end, they have a presentation where they, they present what they did during the internship, you know, uh, it's called the master thesis, right? They need to write down um, um, a thesis, a master thesis, and uh, present it in front of a committee, which evaluate and discuss with the student about uh, grades. And it happens that some students fail at an exam. It's, it happens all the time. It's OK. You have uh, other chances to take the exam um, so that you can get your degree at the end. Does all the program, uh, either it's mass MSc or it's advanced master, uh, require applicant to have a relevant uh, academic background or professional background? Not necessarily. Um, for the Master of Science, you don't need a professional background like experience. Um, not necessarily. You come from a bachelor. A lot of students come directly from their bachelor into the master. And um, advanced master, um, there is both. There are students uh, coming from an engineering uh, degree, a master, 
and uh, students coming from the professional world who have already experience uh, in a certain job and who wants to specialize for one year, an additional one year study. But like, how about the, the subject or major they already have? Should it be relative for what they are applying for? Um, for the advanced master, uh, it depends um, because we are there is different advanced master program. Um, so according to the master program, we will orientate you. Like if usually we ask students before applying to send them their CV. Like mostly, if you are interested in aerospace engineering, is because you may have studied it. But maybe you studied um, business um, engineering or you know different subjects which are not so um, linked to sciences. And there are some possibility to access an advanced master with um, different major uh, um, master. However, a master of science needs the basics in uh, sciences, in physics, in mathematics mm -hmm. um, to access. Yeah, because. Um, there is a strong part uh, in physics and mathematics when studying uh, aerospace engineering. So, right. um, yeah, yeah. For a um, a man uh, like bachelor in management mm -hmm. holder, uh, they are also they are only eligible for advanced master in some cases. So definitely yes. not for MSc and and in aero uh, management yeah. studies. For the MSc, it's going to be difficult because they may not have the basics in the physics, and mathematics, and science of engineering. Um, but for, for advanced master, because yeah, there is an advanced master in uh, project management or also uh, arti artificial intelligence or different topics that uh, welcome really different uh, students with different backgrounds. For MSc students, um, do they have the opportunity to do an exchange or uh, to study abroad or can I have a gap year or gap semester during their study? They usually not. They, it's two years only, only three semesters of courses. And all courses are he taught here at either Sparrow in school. And the six months internship, though, can be done anywhere in the world. Uh, so that can be the opportunity for students to travel. Mm -hmm. And there is also a possibility to do an internship during the summer. In France, you have July, August off. And uh, between the first and the second year, students can do an internship uh, wherever they want in a company mm -hmm. or the work. But no exchange of semester. Okay. It's, it could be hard because there's no... Like it's so the program is made is not yeah. made for um, structure is like yeah structure is for course. two years two years here yeah uh, is there any double degree program um, so yeah this is if uh, some students are interested in um, uh, studying at either so far with an exchange program uh, then it will be formation ingénieur the only thing is that most of the courses are in French so. Um, it's a three-year program, Formation Ingénieur, which um, uh, welcome foreign students for a semester of exchange. Um, or there is also double degree with different universities. Um, so this is another, um, and uh, some other of my colleagues who are dealing with this uh, formation, this is training. Mm -hmm. If students have any question, they can send me a message and I will direct them to the right person. Uh, at the very end, I want to add up uh, on the scholarships. Um, yeah. Since it's a scholarship for excellence, uh, as you mentioned, yeah. so <laughs> I suppose is like quite selective. Like for example, you evaluate uh, the applicants, say transcript or uh, their GPA yeah. or language test score. What would be the uh, the level of evaluation? when you are selecting scholarship winner? Yeah, so to sell, um, so first of all, we receive all the application for the Master of Science, and then some students apply as well for scholarships. We, on the website, it's written, uh, scholarships applicant must have a high level of CGPA. This is how we make the first um, selection. It's on, um, for example, you student may have three out of four CGPA or 75%, um, mostly, yeah. 
so it different of the the, the scale of um, of grades, but usually that that's what um, it how this first selection is made. After what's very important also is the project of the student. Like why do the how could this scholarship be useful for his career project? Mm -hmm. um, how how he express himself? What his uh, background, he, what he wants to study. Like um, when the, they write their cover letter, it's not for nothing. The admission committee really read the cover letters and CV uh, carefully. <laughs> exactly. And also the recommendation letter is important. Is there an interview for that or that will be two rounds? No interview. No, it's only on the application file. Right. Um, yeah. So student may must prepare well for the application file. <laughs> Just uh, make sure you have a good grade. Uh, begging, uh, it's better. Yeah. It's better. <laughs> um, <laughs> and otherwise, they're going to probably focus on the motivation to show exactly. of how course. ambitious you are to you are going to enter Isashi Beho. Absolutely. Um, yeah, that's probably two tips for them for preparation. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't see any more questions so far. However, okay. uh, we have the email here on the screen. It's info yes. Um, If you have the questions um, after the session, uh, you are not sure about your qualification or you are interested to know more about either MSc Advanced or um, the Advanced Master Program, please write the email with your background information uh, for our school officer to give you advice. Uh, all right, that's everything. We can wrap up here. Thank you, Justine, for bringing Thank you so much. a great uh, overview of the school. Uh, hopefully, all the information here will help our audience to identify their study plan for the next year, probably in the near hopefully. future. Hopefully. <laughs> all right. That's um, the very last goodbye for our audience, Justine. Thank you very much. Tai Tian. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good day. You too. Thank you for joining us tonight. Hope to see you soon. My pleasure. Hmm. <laughs>